All right, well, here we go with a future restore test on A12 devices. Here I have with me the iPhone XS Max. I'm going to go into it. As you guys can see, my iCloud is currently signed out, so Find My iPhone is disabled and turned off. But if I go into About, I'm on iOS 12.1.2 currently and uh, I just saved my blobs in a recent tutorial um, for iOS 12.1.1 beta 3. So I have my iOS 12.1.1 beta 3 blob saved correctly for my A12 device. Again, if you guys want a tutorial on how to save blobs correctly for A12 devices, definitely check out my last video. We have Future Restore right here, and we have the 12.1.1 beta 3 IPSW file. Uh, for my 10s max all right let's get directly into this video so really the only thing that's changed from any other blob tutorial video is how you set your generator you're going to set it with the voucher swap not setter for a12 devices the same one that we used in my last video to actually generate and uh, save our blobs so basically you're going to want to sideload that if you don't already have it on your device to set your generator to zero times one, 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 all 16 ones, basically. Um, it's going to be a very common generator nowadays. Um, and so if this works on the first try, it's just going to come up and say ready. And once that prompt comes up, there we go. It says ready on device. Now our generator has been set the same generator that matches our blob. So now the future restore process should work fine by using future restore. Uh, negative T space. So we're going to drop in our blob and then I'm just going to try and see if this works by doing latest, oops, that wouldn't have worked. Latest baseband space latest two dashes, latest SCP space our IPSW file. So wish me luck, guys. Here goes my very first restore on an A12 device on my iPhone XS Max. All right, without further ado, here we go. All right, device is entering recovery mode where the generator should stay the same since we just set it. Again, that generator should match the nonce that we saved if we saved our blobs correctly, and indeed it did. It says verified ECID and AP ticket matches device's ECID. That's the main thing I was waiting for to see if these blobs were saved correctly. And uh, we're continuing going. Now, this still could fail towards the end. Um, an error could occur because we used the latest SCP, latest baseband. It's a better practice to manually specify the SCP, the baseband, as well as the build manifest. And in one of my previous videos, I'll link it down below in my longer one, I went and showed everyone exactly how you do that. Now, iOS 12.1.4 has the same SCP as all versions of iOS 12. So that means restores to all of the versions of iOS 12 are still possible. Now when that SCP changes, it's a different story. Um, and that could be coming as early as iOS 12.2, but we'll have to wait and see. The 12.2 beta has the same SCP as 12.1.4 and all of the earlier versions of iOS 12. So hopefully that will remain the same, and uh, that means future restore will be possible and remain alive for longer with these jailbreakable versions of iOS 12. Like I said, there really isn't a point on downgrading from 12.1.2 to 12.1.1 beta 3. I'm just doing this on my iPhone XS Max to ensure my blobs were saved correctly and to ensure the process that I just showed everyone in my last video actually does work and is saving them correctly. Um, this is kind of like my fail-proof test to ensure I did everything in the tutorial correctly. Um, but it really, I wouldn't advise anyone else to downgrade from an official build to a beta. This is more of a last-case resort, guys. If, um, if your device, for whatever reason, feels kind of sluggish, you can actually just do a fresh restore using this method with blobs. Um, even after 12.1.1, beta 3 is no longer being signed. Anyway... Let's get on with this restore. I'll shut up and wait for it to finish. All right, restore succeeded. Well, that one had me a little nervous, guys. 
um, but it is fully working. Restores can be done on the iPhone 10s Max, 10s, and 10R. So as long as you save your blobs correctly, um, you actually have to manually go in and find your nonce and manually specify a nonce um, within the TSS Saver website. So if I pull that up real fast here. Um, here are my blobs. If I go back real fast, just so I can show you guys, you're going to input your ECID, you're going to input your identifier, and you have to manually specify an AP nonce for A12 devices. Again, I have an entire tutorial on this down below in this video's description or in your cards now. But eventually, you will be able to save blobs for 12.1.1 beta 3 while it's still being signed, and then you'll be able to restore to that at any point if you want even when it's no longer being signed. All right, well, the restore has finished up and everything on the device side of things is looking great, guys. So I'll go ahead and set this device up and I'll be right back. All right, well, here we go, guys. Welcome to iPhone. Now we <laughs> immediately, um, I'll go ahead and trust my computer, but immediately we have the beta prompt. Big surprise, when you are on a beta, this prompt will come up every time when you open up your device until a jailbreak is out and a tweak is installed to block this prompt from coming up. Once a jailbreak's out, it's super easy to patch. Anyway, if we go into general and about, just to confirm, guys, there we are, iOS 12.1.1. That is the beta 3 build number. And again, this restore was just done using blobs. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this quick video. I just wanted to let everyone know that it is possible to use Future Restore with A12 devices, so as long as you save your blobs correctly. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I can't wait to see you guys again real soon with some awesome jailbreak news. Anyway, until next time, this is Tony signing out.